Hey, so today I want to show you about the Loft feature here in Onshape. Pretty powerful tool, and it works the same way as an extrude does, pretty much. You're going to choose two sketch profiles, and you loft in between them. That is Onshape choosing and figuring out what you want in between your two shapes. Right? You still have a new, add, remove, intersect. A couple other things down here I'll go over in a second. Let's just go over a basic one. What I have on the screen here is just going from a point to a circle. So I chose those two profiles here of my point and circle, and I just loft it in between, right? You can do the same thing between a uh, pyramid as well. Square on the base instead, vertex, but it doesn't also, it doesn't always have to be a uh, point and just go from a circle to a square, different shapes. That's the whole reason why you'd want to use a loft. It's not a continuous sweep, which would be between the same shape following a path. The loft is uh, terminating at different shapes, right? So I have a circle up top here, and I have a square down here, and it's just a loft in between. Uh, this loft here on the bottom, I have a square rotated 45 degrees, and then I have a square on the base, and you'll notice it's starting to twist, right? Uh, say I wanted it to twist more. You can do something called match connections here. So let me just turn on my sketch so I can actually select them. I can choose a point on the square and choose the point across it, and it's actually going to make that the loft in between, right? So I've twisted it a little bit more. There's instances where that's actually, uh, the way Onshape interprets it is a little off and not exactly how you want it to do it. So let me show you that here. Here I have three shapes, right? And uh, Onshape is going to figure out my loft in between the three shapes. And look at that, made a little vase type thing. But you'll notice it's twisted a little bit funny. Uh, the way you just interpret it, and especially with circles and curves, it doesn't always know how you want it to look or how you want it to follow. So one way to fix that is using that match connectors, right? So if I turn on match connectors, actually I've added uh, points at the intersection of a plane here. So I know that these points are all in line. And now look, now I have a straight, a smooth loft in between those three shapes I have, right? Here's another example I want to show you here. Uh, I have my loft just between two rectangles. And here though now, I have a little curve. And what I want to happen is I want it to be a path that my loft is going to follow. So if I choose path and then I choose my uh, curve here, it's going to loft in between them. So these little rectangle cross sections, that's this section count here. I can actually decrease this or increase it. Non shape starts to slice along our path and start filling in the loft to actually match what we have here. Right? The more you have, the more detail it will become. So that's path. Last one here I want to show you is guides and continuity. This time I have two fat curves along the side here. If I go into loft, and this time choose guides and continuity, and I want it to follow along these curves, you'll notice it starts to make these uh, flat parts on the bottom. My rectangles are flat on the bottom. But it actually will loft out to those curves I have as well. It follows those as guides. Right? So that's pretty much the basics of the loft command and on shape. Uh, choosing your profiles and seeing if you want to add any guides or paths, and then focusing on matching your connectors. All right? Uh, one more thing I want to show you is with a working drawing like the belt type. This here, if you look at this drawing, uh, has two ellipses, and I need to loft in between them. I do that. Right? I just, let's pull this up. Right, I have my two ellipses, ellipse here, ellipse there. Uh, pretty simply how I got that, right? I just looked at my drawing, I offset it off, ellipses are here, and I drew my ellipses within my sketches. And then with those two ellipses, I chose that as my loft profiles. It's actually going to loft. Notice that I have it lofted down through, go everything, loss in between them, Lost in between them uh, pretty smoothly, and my ellipses, I had to do a little remove on the curves there, but it's the same type of idea. I'm just lofting between two sketches, two ellipses. Uh, this base in the middle here, everyone who's trying to figure that out, I had to draw a line from here to here using those vertices, the use command, so I would have these edges there. All of you are dying to know how I did that, right? I curved that line down, did a use command there, did a use command there drew lines down, 
that then can do that. A little extra there on the belt tightener, so you can see how I did that cross member. All right, but mainly focusing on the loft here and what I did with that. Um, any other questions, post them, but this was just the basics of your loft here. All right, good luck, have fun.